I got the new master cylinder safely clamped to the vise. I got the bench bleeding kit all hooked up. I got the plastic fittings right there, the two hoses. And then I got the little hole separators with a little clip to divide the two and hold it in place. Now here's the thing. These instructions here says use this blunt headed bleeding tool. I don't know if that's the official name for it, but I do not have that tool. I could not find that tool for sale anywhere online. So if anybody knows the official name of this tool and where to buy this tool, let me know. But for now, I realize if I use both my thumbs, I could just kind of push it in with thumb power. But it's weird, but like I said, it's got bubbles coming out of it already and I haven't even started pumping it. So let's see what I can do. Let me get my gloves on now. It's working. For all the homework I've done, you just keep on doing that, pumping it, until there's no more bubbles left. And my thumbs actually don't, are starting to hurt. So I'm gonna do this a few more times, cycle this a few more times. I might add a little bit more fluid because I see it's going down. And that's what's going on here. You get the idea. Disregard what I said about pushing it with your thumb thing, like both your thumbs, because there's, I realize there's no real way, I don't know, I guess my thumbs aren't long enough or my thumbs aren't strong enough, but there's no real way to push it all the way in like that. So what I did is I found this old wore out, I'm glad I didn't throw this away because this used to be a knockoff hammer for some wire, uh, some hundred spoke wire wheels, what's left of it. I don't know what made me keep this, but I'm sure glad I did because I ended up flipping this around and using the soft handle, push that in, that way I don't scratch the inside of the board. I just basically did it like this and just kept on pushing it and kept on pushing it until where it, and now it barely goes down. It almost doesn't want to go down at all and there's no more bubbles coming out, just fluid coming out of there. So I think that's as bled as it needs to be on the bench, pushing it like that. The next step, getting this on the vehicle. Now I think I wasn't really sure how I was going to do this and now that I got the fluid in there, I'm quite sure if I take these hoses off, it'll drip out of there. So to avoid a crazy mess, I think what I'm going to try to do is carefully get this over to the vehicle just like this with all the hoses hooked up, actually bolt it onto the uh, brake booster. And then that way, when I pull these off, it'll be the minimum amount of drippage and mess. Because so far, I haven't spilled anything and I still got all my brake fluid in there. Okay, got it all on there. Got it tightened off, tightened down. I used a 15 millimeter uh, blow through ratchet and socket because the deep uh, deep socket was a little tight trying to get it out of there last time. Nine sixteenths. And if I can do it fast enough, I, so far I haven't lost a drop of brake fluid yet. But we'll see how this one goes here. First, I didn't have it. I couldn't get the threads to catch. I'm no expert, but you know, with practice, you'll get it. But it's not dripping anymore. I did get some drippage, but the drippage I got was uh, kind of minor. There's still a lot of fluid left in there. Let's see if I can get the second one a little faster than the first one. Now that I know I gotta wiggle that, I gotta wiggle that on there to get that them threads to catch. Got the threads to catch a little quicker this time. I 
As I said before, it's my first time changing a master cylinder. But so far, I'm kind of happy with the outcome. I think it's going okay for the first go around. Oh yeah, it's tight. It's tight as it needs to be. I ain't trying to strip it. And there you have it, man. I still got fluid left in there. I just gotta pull this off. And voila, there it is. Brand new AC Delco master cylinder. So some people have told me it's not really necessary to use all these. But I thought it came out uh, pretty clean. I only lost a little bit of fluid. 